regarded this grace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt because he was looking ahead of his reward. Because he was looking ahead of his reward, he regarded this grace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt. Know who you want to please. Please God first and seek his kingdom. He, he promised that all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Please God first. And a new house and lot shall be given unto you. Seek God, His kingdom, and His righteousness. And a husband shall be added unto you. Hindi po new husband sa mga naghahantay ng kanilang God's will. But you know, did you know sometimes life becomes so difficult? Why? Priority. Meron po nagsabing ganito, in order to say yes to your priority, you have to say no to something else. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity. No. <clears throat> Outside the space. A lot of opportunity. You can grab all the opportunity in the world and discover at the end of the day you did not be, do anything. You did not finish anything. Sa dami ng opportunity kinuha mo, no, wala ka natapos yung kapo. I mean, no, iset mo yung priority mo. Ano bang priority mo? Di mo ba? Na priority ko ay family ko, ministry ko, pamilya ko, iba. At sa lahat ng priority mo, iuna mo si Lord. At pag inuna mo si Lord sa lahat ng priority mo, siguradong may mangha yayaring himala na sa buhay mo. Amen. With, with your priority, there you can take your opportunity. And Moses faced the issue of priorities. He decided what was really important. Young Moses had everything in life. No, much of the riches of the world was in Egypt during those times. So that you know, he got ultimate power, ultimate possession. And popularity. He was about to be the next in line. But there's one problem with power, popularity, and possession because no, it never lasts. Sa mga matatalino sa school, no, yung mga suma cum laude, magna cum laude, ngayon bumalik ka sa school, hindi ka nakilala. Ang pera ngayon, walang magawa. Ang mga mayaman, I mean, no, hindi na, not to no, demean anyone. Nagmamakaawa sa ospital, tanggapin nyo na kami, may pambayad kami, pasensya na po, puno na. I mean, no, walang magawa ang pera sa ating panahon ngayon. No, nevertheless, we have to take note of our priority. And God asked Moses to do something that was more important. God told Moses, get out and keep moving. And so he did. You know, Jesus was rejected so many times, but he never stopped with his mission because he had to please the Heavenly Father. He knows why, why he was sent on earth. Kailangan pong namin natin kay Lord, Lord, ano ang purpose mo sa buhay ko? Sapagkat hindi maaaring mangyari na chinambahan ka lang na nandito ka, may purpose ka, kapatid. Andiyan ka pa ba? No, may layunin ang buhay mo. Amen? Alam ko po, minsan po eh, hindi may iwasan, no? nag-service ako sa patay sa Meterese. May nakatikim ako ng sampal. Sinampal po ako nung... Kasi po, ba't ako sinampal? Kasi pinatigil ko yung sugal. Sabi ko, tigil muna po natin. Magalang naman po yung pagkakasabi ko. Eh siguro, baka natatalo. No, pinuntahan po ako. Sinampal sa akin yung bara. No, hindi, hindi pala masarap sampal eh. Nakatikim po ako. Pero kung ako po yung sinampal dahil po ako ay laseng at nanggugulog, 
Makakahiya yon pero ako'y sinampal dahil tumayo ako sa katwiran, kabanalan at sa kalooban ng Diyos. Na ibibigay ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Kasi sa lahat ng gagawin mong layunin sa buhay mo, siguruhin mo na maitataas ang Diyos sa iyong buhay. Tuntunin mo yon at may mangyayaring ng Himala sa wakas sa buhay mo. Amen! Hallelujah! And, you know, know who you, who you want to please. Whatever that I will be, my hands will do, I want to please God. Why? Sinula po ng, no, Biblia ang ganito, Romans chapter 12. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. Before, we were not acceptable. We were living apart from God. But He made us right with God. Once upon a time when you decided to accept Jesus. So He made us righteous before Him. Tapos po kami ng lahat ng mga proud. I am righteous before God. And I am proud who I am. Hallelujah. No, yung iba nahiya na. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. He made us right with Him. That's why we are righteous. No. And the next verse will say, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Who you are will determine how you think. And how you think would determine what your hand will do. It will just naturally glorify God. So that whatever you do, it will bring about your destiny. No. <clears throat> Success will begin to show up in all that you do. And then thirdly, renounce your fear. You ikatlong R. Renounce means give up. Surrender. Refuse to accept further. Yung po yung renounce. No? That answers the question, how am I going to live? And you can sum up Moses' life in two words. Written in verse 27, By faith he left Egypt not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him is invisible. <clears throat> do you believe in God? Yes. yes, we do. We worship God, though we don't see Him, we worship because somebody accepts our worship. We pray towards heaven because we know that somebody is listening and hearing our prayers. Though we don't see God, we believe that God is with us. God is for us. He loves us anyway. And Moses saw God. He endured. Moses was brave in life because he endured. Why? Because he saw him who is invisible, the one to be feared. No. Not fearing, meron ba ditong tao na hindi pa nyo naranasan kahit kailan na hindi matakot? Meron bang ganun? Talagay ko po, normal naman po tayo lahat dito, no? Na minsan po sa ating buhay, tayo po no, dinapuan ng tao. Pangamba, agam-agam. Normal po yun. But here was Moses. He set aside his fear. You know, at the beginning of World War II, yung mga inabot po ng mga 1941, ito po yung binanggit ni President Roosevelt. Hindi naman po ako inabot niya. Pero sabi niya, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. In other words, nanalo po actually ang Amerika, no, malaking bahagi po nila, 
sa laban ng World War II. In other words, if we do not triumph over our fears, then fear will triumph over us. This is a message from our general overseer. Midway during pandemic, ito po yung sabi niya. Samantalang kailangan talagang mag-ingat at pag-ingatan ang ating simbahan, ang mga dumatalo, empleyado, maging ating sarili, huwag naman tayong alipinin ng tao. Amen? Andiyan pa ba ang mga matatapang na kristyano? Pwede bang let's give you a hand? 